Here we are in the wacky world of Divergences of Darkness. Uh, we don't know what this mod is. Good luck. Something something Norman, something something Kalmar Union, something something Chinese Jesus. And that should basically catch you up. Okay, the first step of Scandinavia is to beat up Bohemia. And luckily, I got a bunch of allies to help do the work. Principally, Hungary and Burgundy. Okay, these fuckers are sat in the plane, so I'm gonna hit them. Also, we get this isolated 15 stack. Yeah, follow up if we can get there in time. Oh, we caught some of them. Added puppet on Lunaberg. Peace them out. There's a stack moving in the Pritz walk. I'll get that one. Oh, bed roll. But, uh... uh there we go. Follow up. White piece out. Uh, that miner. Oof. Bad rolls! I'll pull back my territory. Wipe this 30k up here. Actually, I should just go straight for that wipe on that. While well, it's in planes. Oh, good roll. Oh my god. Muscovy has shown up. Aragon? Okay, well, was not expecting that one. Peace out, Faringia. For Puppet as well. Well, that one went pretty well if you don't consider all that debt I had to go into. Uh, it's a little border gory, but I'm gonna sphere Poland-Lithuania so I can get to it. And then I'll just take this in the next war. Also, if you don't know, the infamy decay in Divergences of Darkness is a little fucking wacky. So we're going to be doing, uh, uh, getting up to a lot of uh, hijinks. Okay, next on the list to beat up is Muscovy. Trying to occupy where they're mobilizing. See how well that goes. Called in Poland and Hungary. Hoping for a quick victory, but that's what they always say. Okay, things are going fairly well. There's still a lot of Russians, though. But, oh god, they have 76 brigades. There's the piece. Muscovy is now smaller. Time to beat up Bohemia again. This time we're liberating and puppeting Brandenburg.
making Austria a puppet. Making Bavaria a puppet. And then piecing out Bohemia. Now Bohemia is small and has no remaining major spherelings that can help them. Okay, we're at war with Muscovy again. And also Spain. I'm hoping to just slowly bleed out the Russians. With defensive battles. There we go. Now Muscovy is a puppet of Scandinavia. Now I've won this war, but I've been fighting non-stop wars and my fucking soldier pops are so shredded. I think I started this game with like the with like 70 brigades worth of soldier pops and I'm down to 30 some. I have a turtle in my room. Turtle filter makes noise. Accidentally recorded the war of Poland with obnoxious water sounds in the background. Realized that, made a v made a clip talking about that, and then realized I was swinging around a thing in my hand which made a bunch of noise. So now I'm making this, and I'm just gonna put it over top uh, an image. So there you go. Okay, that time of year again. Time to fuck up Bohemia. There's the decisive battle, if you can call it that, considering how uh, undermatched the Bohemians are. There we go. So I've been doing a bit of colonizing in Asia, as you can see, just in the background. And apparently there's a thing called the Scramble for India. So I'm scrambling. I actually had to purposely exile my troops so I could take out the Mughals. Fucking United... What, what, fuck? The, uh... Dual Monarchy has taken most of it, so that's a little frightening. I'm gonna have to break truce on the Mughals. Which is, yeah, minus 100 prestige... Was it too infamy? But it's totally worth it because there's like... Yeah, two million pops. Also desperately want to get... Bengal, but they're fucking... They're friendly with the, the Anglo-French, so we'll, we'll see what happens. Scandinavian Hindustan. This is what, uh, more or less what it's looking like over here. The Qing are, uh, popping off. But I started this back up because, uh, well, final goodbye to Bohemia. There she goes. Going in on Poland for the rest of Prussia. Wipe these Prussians. I guess not wipe, probably, but slam these Prussians. And help my puppet in this battle.
And I'll help him in this battle. Follow up. Oh my, oh my god. They have a, the, the, the Hetamit has a six defense. Holy shit. Okay, remember not to attack them. Okay, my troops have been shredded pretty well, but so have theirs. And the Belarusians are just sieging down the Baltics. So not, not doing much. Of relevance. Okay, I'm trying to bait the Hetamit into attacking me, which seems to be working. Yeah, he's a sixth defense, but he has no attack. Oh, that's a lot of Jacobins. I'll have to deal with those. Not right now, though. Kind of in the middle of something. No! We lost the infamy reduction! The Germans have formed... Or the Danubians have formed, more accurately, I guess. Okay, now I'm pressing the button. That's a thick Scandinavia. And now I have Elbian accepted, which totally isn't overpowered at all. Maybe just a, a little bit. Also annexing Taangu. Or however it's pronounced. And I'm justifying on China because I want this gold province. Just got the justification on China and I can only take these two shitty pieces of land that I don't really want because they're in fucking Siberia. I will have to speak to the manager of this mod. So instead, I'm going to go in on Egypt. Because I could use that canal they got there. Unless... Nope. The Spanish are going in for Somaliland and getting occupied by Ethiopia. Suez has been secured. I'm going in to cut the Qing down the size. For money, and also because they kind of scare me. Here's the naval battle. It's all wooden ships. I might actually lose it. No, oh, I'm winning. I've waited till now to actually build a fleet that doesn't consist of those fucking wooden boats. Oh, the Chinese have attacked me. Oh god. Yeah, it's not going well for them. That's a stack wipe. Oh, and they're gonna do it again. Yep, and they just got deleted as well. 
I'm a hundred percent certain I think the situation is okay. <gasps> Get cut down the size, loser! Time to beat the shit out of Poland again. This time we're liberating and puppeting Rufinia. Oh. Cut the balls. Jesus, that guy is is a plus forty percent speed general. That guy's just fucking zooming out here. I don't think I've ever seen something like that. Oh, what? That just happened? Well, I peaced out. I got Rufinia. But that's... Wait. Rufini is purple, which is cool. Okay, wait, 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 hold on. Rufini is my puppet. And their puppet isn't Rufini, though. It's the Hedgement, unless it's, like, the same tag. But how could Rufini have cores and the Hedgement not have cores? Because they just annex them somehow. Maybe they annex them if... If Rufinia becomes free, or or if Rufinia exists, they will annex the Hetzimut. I don't know, but as soon as I pieced out, you, you saw that. The Hetzimut just stopped existing. I've come to the realization that Poland must be destroyed. They may lo no longer be allowed to live. Simple as. So Russia formed, so I'm going to have to deal with that at some point. But for right now, declaring war on Munster. Which we'll call in a Burgundy, because... Munsters and Burg not Burgundy fuck. Call them the Danubians because Munsters in the Danubian sphere. Oldenburg real quick. So I'm communist now, and oh god, do I have the world's most hideous flag. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh my. Also, Africa properly scrambled. As you can see. Anyways, going in on Poland. Okay. It's time to secure the Russian bear. I'm going to play this war very defensively. I just found out that I have a five defense. So we're going to watch that in action.
gauging the fire defense again. Just wipe that army. Okay, Ingria and war reparations for now. War for Danubian Latvia. However, not just the Nubian Latvia, because they sh the Nubians are allied to um, the dual monarchy. I keep forgetting their fucking name. Never mind. I <laughs> that. I fought the dual monarchy. Was about to. Show up, ruin my day. Apparently they can't be bothered. Easy enough. Kia, what is happening? Going to non Lithuania to grab a memo real quick. No, I should probably grab my core from Poland. Peace from Lithuania. Okay. I think that's all of the Scandinavia I got in me. But I at least was able to end it on a good old uh, enclosed Baltic Sea, which was one of my goals. I fucking... Conquered all uh, all of North Germany, much of Northern Europe, big old Scandinavian Asia, and Africa as well. Built a giant fleet that I never ended up using. Next country is looking like it's about to be Brazil. And... Vanilla. <laughs>